Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today I've got a Houston Texans 7 round mock draft. Starting off at pick 3, first two picks, Aiden Hutchinson, Sauce Gardner. Wow, that is interesting. I think I'm going to have to take Kayvon Thibodeau to here though. He's, he's my... He's my guy. I think he's got the most upside out of anyone in this draft class. Purely on the field, probably the second best player in this class, although it is quite close. Maybe Evan Neal takes the edge. But, yeah, I really like Kayvon Thibodeau. Uh, tackle is interesting here. Maybe an Ikki Aquanu, Evan Neal, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with Kayvon Thibodeau. All right. Picking again at 13, obviously from the... Uh, Watson trade, and this is interesting. I think there is quite a few good players on the board, actually. I quite like Chris Olave. Jermaine Johnson, I'm a lot higher on than PFF. I think he's probably top 15, maybe even top 10 player. I really like Garrett Wilson or Drake London here, so it kind of sucks that both of them are off the board. Charles Cross would have also been amazing here. Ryman, I'm not quite this high on. Karloff, this is kind of fun. Devin Lloyd, Jamison Williams, I think is going to be the pick though. It's close, but I do think I'm going to I'm going to lean Jamison Williams, get a receiver for Davis Mills, try to give him you know a more fair evaluation. Don't know if he's your QB of the future. I'm not buying into that fully, but give him a chance at least, right? Oh man, but Sam Howell is on the board here at 37. I don't know, I think you've got too many holes to really draft a quarterback, and Leo Chennault is on the board. Oh, that's that's fun. Arnold Abiketti is fun as well. Man, there's some good, good picks here. I really like La Roger McCreary. I just think I'm going to go Leo Chennault. I think he's a first-round talent, and I think that's just, that's really good value there at 37. All right, back on the board. Oh my gosh, Asamoah falls this far, but guy I'm more interested in, yeah, it's Abraham Lucas. I think in the third round, that's an absolute steal. I, I don't think there's any other way you could go there. Getting another protector is kind of interesting in Parham. Carson Strong is fun here as well. Hmm, this is this is an interesting spot. I I think I'm gonna go with Carson Strong though. You don't pick again until 107. It's a third round QB. Man, I don't know. You do have Mills. I don't know. Strong's got some upside, but ah, I just talked about how we're not going to take a quarterback. I'm going to stick by my statement. We're going to take Dylan Parham. Two offensive linemen. Offense, offensive linemen. I, I like it. You know, give once again, give Mills his shot. Now, oh my gosh, we just kind of looked into two really good players. And, uh... Actually, I just saw a guy who I'm higher on than PFF is, and that's Zion McCollum out of Sam Houston State. I actually like him more than Marcus Jones. Uh, and then D'Angelo Malone, edge out of Western Kentucky. I think those are two really good players and quite good fits for the Texans. You know, it says every position is a position I need, and yeah, that's kind of true, but those are two really good players. I like that. Big upside guys as well. Not necessarily the safest picks, not by any means, but yeah. Uh, Noah Ellis out of Idaho. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh, okay, there's some fun players here for sure. Bo Melton is kind of fun. Smoke Monday, such a great name. Such a great name. Is it Quandre White? Get, you know, mm, that's kind of fun. Devontae Pierce is fun as well. Ah. Man, I do think I'm going to go... Man, this one's this one's tough. I'm all over the place on this. I, ooh, I really like Adam Anderson here. That's a swim for the moon kind of guy. But I am going to go with Zaquandre White. Get a guy in the backfield who can hopefully help out Davis Mills a bunch and uh, take some pressure off of him. With this next pick, we're at 205 now. Gosh. Adam Anderson is still on the board. All right, so Adam Anderson has some off-the-field concerns. And they are very valid. However, if he clears that out, clears that up, 
just purely on the field, he's a really good player. He's a game changer on the field. So I'm going to take him here at 2-5. You know, sixth round pick, a late sixth round pick at that. I'm willing to take a shot on one of these guys. Next, I think I'm going to take Derek Deese Jr. I thought about taking him way earlier. A really good tight end. Uh, again, helping out uh, Davis Mills on offense. So I like that, giving him a lot of options. And then this last pick, we're going to... We're just going to take a guy who I think can have some upside. I'm trying to look through here. I'm not sold on any of these guys as potentially having that, that upside. I mean, it is the seventh round, so that's to be expected. Ooh, this is, you know what, this is kind of fun. I'm going to be completely honest. I don't know too much about the Texans special teams, but Cameron Dicker is here from Texas. Keep him right here in Houston. Well, I mean, not in Houston, but in Texas. Yeah, we're going Cameron Dicker the kicker. I like it. All right. You know, we saw what Evan McPherson did last year. So, rookie kickers, they might actually go a little higher this year than we've seen. We get an A from PFF. Uh, yeah, I really like the mock draft. Starting with KT at three, I, I really like the pick. Tons of upside, swing for the fences. And Jamison Williams, I really like that as well. I didn't see any trade down spots. There were some opportunities, but I liked players on the board at every spot. So... Yeah, overall, a really good mock draft. We came down, got Leo Chanel, a, a really strong just physical stud. Abraham Lucas and Dylan Parham, two really good linemen. I think Lucas and Parham really have good good floors as well. So, my column, he's a big upside guy. Same thing with Malone. Zaquandre White uh, is going to be a solid running back. Uh, good late round pick. Adam Anderson, definitely a risky pick, but I like it. Derek Deese Jr., really good tight end. Uh, receiving tight end, and then Cameron Dicker. Yeah, I, I just didn't didn't like many of the names still left on the board there. So overall, I really like the mock draft. But what do you guys think? Uh, Till next time, though. I'll uh, I'll see you guys.